Hi to all the Linux Tech viewers out there. Uh, and today we'll be discussing an important function within Google Sheets, which is growth. See, the world is actually moving from descriptive analysis to prescriptive data. So, in this journey, we need to have functions, formulas, and uh, maybe sequences in which uh, data can have predictions, proper predictions. And this is very important, especially for the startups and the smaller organizations. Even for the big organizations, they need to predict uh, the recruitment process. Uh, and they need to predict the manpower, the units, uh, the production team, everything. So uh, in all these planning, prediction is very important. So let's start uh, from a blank spreadsheet. As uh, always, we'll first change the name of this spreadsheet so that it will become part of our database and we can properly search it again in case required. So let's name it as growth. In order to explore this feature, we need to put in some sample data. So let's put in two columns. The first one would be year. Second one will be units sold. So let's say in 2014, 6,000 units were sold. Then in 2015, 7,000 units were sold. Then in 2016, the sale dropped to 4,000 units. Then in 2017, the sale was 6,900 units. 2018, it was 7,800. And 2019, it is around 2300 we need to predict what will happen in 2020 so that we can actually make our planning much more better so this is a simple formula and as always uh, the formula starts with an is equals to sign so after is equals to write growth and it has three major arguments the first one is known data and the y-axis which is this one select this then you have to select the known data with an x-axis that is the number of years that you are predicting uh, you only have then in the third argument you have to write for which year or for which tenure you need this prediction after this when you hit enter the prediction will be there so according to the growth formula and by seeing all this trend you will be able to sell around 3542 units so uh, we can now plan our production recruitment and everything based on this number and in case we think that it is quite low we can we always have a chance to make our performance much more better because this data is actually based on the past trend so this result will uh, help us out in many ways also the other thing that we can do right here is we can make a spark line so that uh, if somebody would like to have pictorial representation of this it will be easily accessible so this is the spark line function and see here it is so these are the sparks and the trend actually shows that uh, after 2019 in 2020 the selling unit or the units sold will definitely increase but we can always make it much more better as we do have some peaks uh, in the previous years so this is how we can utilize growth function this is very important for all the plannings for recruitment or for your production so please use it and make sure that if you like the video you have subscribed to our youtube channel which is learn a stay tuned and thanks for watching